So here is your mask. You'll notice that there is a um, part that goes over the bridge of the nose, it would be like the apex of the mask, and then there's the part of it that's the flatter part that goes at the cleft of the chin. So when you're measuring a mask, be it a pocket mask or the mask that belongs with a bag valve mask, it should measure from the bridge of the nose to the cleft of the chin. So it would be bridge of the nose to the cleft of the chin. When you place the mask on the patient, you're going to place it with the apex or the pointy part, bridge of the nose, and then march it down to the cleft of the chin. So if I was going to hold this mask on the patient with two hands, this would be called a bilateral CE clamp. Here's my C fingers, here's my E fingers, and that would be the same on the other side. So this would be a bilateral CE clamp. If I was just going to hold it on with one hand, I would generally hold the mask on with my non-dominant hand, and then my dominant hand would be free to squeeze the bag. So now we're going to um, actually open the airway. We'll support the airway with an oropharyngeal airway, and then we will provide positive pressure ventilations on a patient who has a pulse but who is not breathing or not breathing adequately. So I'm going to go with a head tilt chin lift, being careful not to compress the tissue under the, under the chin because that can occlude the airway. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my OPA, oral pharyngeal airway. This is an unresponsive patient, uh, probably without a gag reflex, but I don't really know that at this time. I'm going to open the mouth with my cross finger technique, index, thumb over index. I'm going to measure this from the front teeth to the angle of jaw or the corner of the mouth to the tragus of the ear is also acceptable. I will insert this airway upside down. I'm gonna run it across the hard palate. As soon as I feel the soft palate, which will be a decrease in resistance, I will rotate that 180 degrees. Now I'm ready to use my bag valve mask. I'm gonna measure this from the bridge of the nose to the cleft of the chin. Make sure that I'm clearing the flange. I have my CE of my non-dominant hand. I'm a right-hand dominant person. Now I'm going to just bring the bag around. I'm going to open the airway and squeeze the bag. And I'm just basically looking for chest rise. Now when you're ventilating a patient who has a pulse and who is not breathing, who is an adult patient, the breaths are going to be delivered one breath every five to six seconds. So typically people would count, give a ventilation, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, squeeze, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, squeeze. When you're ventilating a patient who has a pulse but who is not breathing, it is important to reassess the pulse every two minutes. So after two minutes of ventilating, I'm going to reassess the carotid pulse because it's difficult to tell in a patient who is not breathing if they have a pulse. And this patient isn't on a monitor, so I don't have that benefit. So I'm going to check the pulse for five to ten seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Patient still has a carotid pulse, so I'm now going to go back and continue my breath through breaths at one breath every five to six seconds.